So good evening, everyone. It's seven o'clock and we are officially live on uh, Facebook. So uh, please do not swear. Uh, I'm Stuart Emmer. I'm the Principal and Chief Executive uh, here at East Coast College and uh, welcome to the 2020 Access Awards. Uh, we're celebrating all week at the college this week, uh, but let's don't tell anyone but secretly this one is actually my favourite. Uh, I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, it's really important actually uh, to celebrate generally and recognize your amazing achievement and it's great to see so many staff and students uh, logging on to the session uh, this evening uh, but i think it's especially important to celebrate in these uh, as we always describe them unprecedented times uh, in covid i think uh, the world needs some good news our community needs to celebrate with us uh, and what's more actually um, for, for the students logging in this evening for you to achieve under these crisis conditions uh, is nothing short of absolutely amazing and that makes you very very special indeed. Um, I think uh, genuinely the students uh, through this period um, and particularly adult students have really led the way uh, in demonstrating uh, resilience and demonstrating creativity and demonstrating real courage uh, in completing the study so I think you should be very very proud of you um, and um, before we go any further I think there's a particular opportunity uh, right now to uh, thank your families because I know uh, having been an Access student uh, quite a long time ago I know that your families make lots of sacrifices alongside of you um, so sometime this evening if you just turn to the loved ones who are watching with you right now uh, and I just say thank you very much. Uh, also I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of our amazing staff uh, you'll see some of them uh, through this evening uh, but once again they've shown an amazing job to to teach uh, in really unusual ways and we've all lived in this digital world over the last uh, few months and i think they've done a sterling job in, in doing that so i really do hope after um it's i don't think there's ever a better time now uh, as access students for, uh, passing access students to to go off to university and and by the time you've got your degrees and you're wearing your caps and gowns you'll be entering the world just as it start, starts to recover i think economically uh, and probably emotionally from, from the recent months. So uh, go and make your mark on a fast changing world. And no matter where you uh, study in East Coast College, we always say that you're gonna leave with three elements. It doesn't matter whether you're studying with you know, at university or apprentice or like yourself with access awards. We say that uh, you, you're gonna leave with the skills and qualifications that you're gonna need um, to, to make your next step. Number two, we're gonna make sure that you make that next step and you progress because even the amazing awards you're getting this evening, you're just a stepping stone to something else. You've got hopefully bigger and brighter plans for the future. And we're gonna help you make sure you achieve those. And then thirdly, while you're with us, hopefully you've developed some sense of your own personal character and your wellbeing, uh, and really sort of got to understand yourself a little bit better. And I think the awards this evening celebrate all three of those aspects, uh, the, the last one. Um, so uh, well done to all uh, of those of you are watching, well done to all those who have nominated for particular awards this evening um, and finally um, well done in advance and congratulations to, to the winners. Um, some of you also uh, might know that on uh, Saturday uh, on Facebook at seven o'clock we are going to be announcing our champion of champions so right across the East Coast College family uh, we've, uh, we've put all the winners into, into a big pot and we've got a, a champion of champions to announce so watch this space for that one. So enjoy this evening. Hopefully you're uh, watching it with a celebratory uh, glass of uh, something special. Um, and I'll hand you over now to Kerry Payne, who's our assistant principal uh, for access to take you through the rest of the proceedings. So have a really good evening. Thank you, Stuart. So I'm really pleased that we're here meeting um, this evening to celebrate um, your achievements this year and to say a massive well done. Um, this is a big enough achievement at the best of times, as Stuart has mentioned, but this year has been particularly difficult um, due to the disruption of COVID. So I'm so pleased that we can say a true thank you to you all um, and a good luck um, for your future. Just to let you know before we start the official awards that the college is going to receive your grade reports very, very shortly. And then these will be emailed out to each of you um, from our exams team at the college on the 13th of July. Uh, your official certificates will still arrive at the college on the 31st of July and will be sent out to you shortly after that. So tonight we are really lucky to have Fiona Fisk here with us. Um, Fiona is the Academic Registrar for the University of Suffolk and plays a really large supportive role in Carver as well. Uh, we thank her for being here this evening and speaking to us all. 
just before I hand over to Fiona, I think it is important to um, reflect what Stuart said in sen saying a big massive thank you to all of your tutor delivery team. I think you'll all um, agree with me that none of us would be here this evening celebrating your awards had it been without your tutor support, particularly through the disruption that we've had this year. So thank you to all of our access lecturers. Okay, so now I'm going to hand over to Fiona for her thoughts um, and then we'll move into the student awards for this evening. So over to you, Fiona. Thank you very much, Kerry, and um, good evening and congratulations to all of you on your achievements. Wow, what a year. Um, I do not expect that you signed up for your access programme, um, expecting that having made that decision, worked out all of the logistics to enable you to study, um, that you thought when you came to the end of your year, we would be in a countrywide lockdown, you'd be homeschooling your children, caring for your families, being designated key workers and working to finish your programme whilst not being able to attend college. I'm every year so proud of the Access Student Achievements and I really appreciate the invitation each year to come back and meet with you and this year must be one of particular note and really really well done to all of you and I know that will be a theme going through the evening but it is genuine um, that we are all so proud of you and what you have achieved. Kerry's mentioned that I'm um, involved with the Cambridge Access Validating Agency, um, which is the awarding authority of your access qualification. And uh, as chair of the agency, I'm delighted to have received feedback from your external examiners, which commends both you as students for your hard work, but also for your teaching team as well. And despite the challenges that COVID-19 has brought, the high grade achievement across the access provision um, has risen in the college which is a credit again to both you, your families and the support they've given you and to your lecturing team and the support that they've given you in what is very different times for them as well as for you. Tonight, an odd evening, um, I can't see any of you, you can see me. Um, and on these occasions, I usually enjoy having a little mingle, raising a glass and finding out about your personal journey. Um, what prompted you to do to take your access programme what are you thinking about doing as you move forward? But although that's not been possible, I've been reliably informed that there's a large proportion of you going on to progress into higher education study, 87% of the cohort going on to study in higher education, whilst there's a smaller number of you which who will take a gap year or you'll continue on into employment. So just a few words, because I know you're desperate to get into the awards um, and celebrations, but I want you to just pause um, between this stage and the next. And I want you to think and reflect, what's the one thing that you would say you have learned about yourself in this past year? The key thing that you have discovered during your studies that's made an impact on you, your understanding and life the one thing that you never want to go near again, and the one thing that you want to change about the way you work or something you do as you move forward. And although I may not have just completed an access programme as you have, reflecting on these past 15 weeks lockdown has caused me to know that whilst working from home has its advantages, I really do miss my colleagues and that face-to-face -face interaction. Teams, Skype, Zoom, they are just not the same. And I have not ceased to be amazed at the resilience of staff who having never worked from home before, left the office on 23rd of March and have established themselves at kitchen tables, dressing tables, desks and so on, juggled their family responsibilities and continued to work hard, often going above and beyond. And this is something that each of you as a student has also had to embrace in order to be where you are today. I don't think I have yet found the thing that I wouldn't go near again, but there's still time. We're only now easing out of lockdown, so watch that space. What I do notice, though, from my reflections is that people are the key to the way I work and feel about life. They motivate me, encourage me, and yes, frustrate me, but my life is all the richer because of them. And as you head into the next step of your journey, be that study, work or travel, I want you to reflect on this past year and not to forget those lessons that you have learned 
They will shape you and make you what you are, will be and can be. You will have changed over this past year. And if you allow yourself to, you will continue to change and develop in the coming weeks, months and years. We are never too old to learn and adapt. Or, as Winnie the Pooh said, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. And many of you will have taken that step into progressing to your access programme, not knowing where that might take you. But that next step will also be that chance for you to be bold, to listen to your heart and strong enough to live that life that you've always wanted for yourself and your family. Tigger, however, never wanting to be outdone by poo, also has some words for us. Life is not about how fast you run or how high you climb, but how well you bounce. How true is that? It may have taken you a long time to get to where you are today. It may have been quicker for some, but regardless, there will have been challenges and knockbacks. And that is something we can all be certain of as we move forward. But it is how we bounce back and use that to our advantage. And a favourite saying that I have, which my team are probably fed up of hearing me say, is that every day is a school day. We should never be embarrassed or ashamed to admit when something hasn't gone quite right. When you wish you had done something differently or someone else has suggested something which you haven't thought of. It's those things that will enable you to continue to grow and flourish in your chosen path. So as I draw to a close, just in sharing that, do reflect back on this year, take those lessons learned, be proud, hold your heads up high, and I wish each and every one of you all the very best and congratulations again on your success. You should be rightly proud of everything that you've achieved. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Fiona. So now we can move on to the most important part of um, this evening, which is our student awards. So um, we also have some special awards uh, in that we're going to nominate one student from each group for student of the year. I will now invite each of our course leaders in turn to present their awards. So first of all, well done to all of our students on the care, learning and development course. And I'd like to invite Karen Sullivan King, course leader for the programme, to say a few words. I'm really sorry to interrupt you, Karen, but we can't hear you. I can see that you're unmuted, but... Can you hear me now? Brilliant, yes. Okay, sorry. I think that's, I made an adjustment. <laughs> Um, so again, congratulations to every student on Access Care Learning and Development. You have been a wonderful group. You've been a real pleasure to teach and I'm really proud of your achievements. Uh, you've been such a supportive group to each other, which has been wonderful. You embody courage and caring and confidence and commitment and compassion. Um, and you have done all year. So I'm just so proud of you and I wish you every success in the future. Um, please stay in touch because I'd really love to hear how you get on. So many of you are going on to study HE um, and maybe I'll see you in a hospital sometime soon <laughs> or maybe not. Anyway, um, well done all of you. Thank you, Karen. Now can you um, give us some details about your student of the year, please? So, um, student of the year is Adja Sedi, and Adja has just been one of the kindest, <laughs> popular, very gentle, but really, really committed. Um, and she's been at the college um, from level two. She's been resitting her GCSEs. And she's been really determined to get to um, study general nursing and she's going off to Derby. So we're really proud of you, Adja. And um, it's been a pleasure having you as a student. You've been wonderful. Fantastic. Well done, Adja. And thank you, Karen. 
So our next course to celebrate achievement is our Access to Counselling programme. So I'd like to invite Barbara Wilson to say a few words and to introduce her Student of the Year. Sorry, I was just unmuting myself. Hello, everybody. Um, big congratulations to all of you. I just want to say a really big thank you to all of all of our students on the Access and Counselling course. Um, you've been a, a truly amazing group this past year. Um, and on behalf of myself, Trish and Amy, um, we want to say it's been a real pleasure to teach you and to get to know you all. You've been incredibly hardworking, dedicated, um, and incredibly passionate and enthusiastic about the learning. Uh, and it's been a joy to behold, it really has. Um, we're really proud of how you wrote the challenge of adapting to the online Zoom lessons. Um, and we really appreciated um, how you worked with us on that so that we could continue, albeit in a different style. And I just wanted to say how privileged we've been to accompany you on your journey towards achieving your goals. And we're really excited for you to be moving on to university in September. And we want to wish you all the very best of luck on your degree programmes and beyond. And I have to get this in, to pay homage to the great Carl Rogers. I sincerely hope and believe you will actualise your dreams and your full potential, that we know only too well how much of that that you have. And go on to become great counsellors or professionals, well, and professionals in other areas of the helping professions if you don't go on to be counsellors. So once again, big thank you from all of us and good luck. And moving on to announcing student of the year. Um, this student's been chosen because they've been consistent in demonstrating a very high level of enthusiasm, commitment and perseverance. And they have produced work of a very high quality. They've also maintained excellent attendance, even when experiencing personal difficulties and challenges. We've also chosen this student because of the commendable way in which they have conducted themselves on the course and the insightful and sometimes very entertaining contributions they've made to lessons, as well as how they've played a key part in the formation of a very cohesive and supportive learning group. So the student we have chosen is Claire Barker. Well done, Claire. <laughs> Oh, very well done, Claire, and thank you very much, Barbara. Um, we're now moving on to our Access to Humanities and Social Science programme. So I'd like to welcome um, Harriet Hattie to say a few words and announce her student of the year. Hi, can you all hear me? Okay. Yes, yes good. Um, hi. Um, it's been a weird year from beginning to end. Um, you guys had to deal with not only of course leave going off for a little bit but then the other two tutors going back but we got Karen instead so that was a lovely lovely surprise and we have both enjoyed this year given its many up and downs and you've all really 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 done so well even though a lot of you think that you know you're a lot of you lack confidence but you all rose to the challenge of lockdown um you all did your absolute best and we laughed and we cried and we had lots of therapy sessions and i always had my cup of tea as you've been seeing me today so not much has changed even though we're all apart um mm. this isn't how we wanted the year to end none of us um and we are just glad that you are all going to go on and do the best that you absolutely can and you deserve to have the best futures because you've all done really really well um i know karen and i would love for you to keep in touch and when all this all blows over we'll have to kind of all get together um so sorry rambling but moving on to student of the year um karen and i chose this person um because many reasons really massive improvement through the year never gave up um despite anything that came in their way. Um, she was like a whirlwind, but a whirlwind of happiness and excitement. And regardless of what was going on in her life, she always, always, always thought about other people. So our student of the year 
for Humanities and Social Science is Madison Greenwood and you can take the lead with that. So well done Maddie. Thank you. I hope you have a good summer if that happens. Excellent. Very well done Maddie and thank you very much Hattie. So our next course to celebrate the achievement of is our Access to Science and Health program and we're focusing on our health pathway first of all. So I'd like to welcome Leslie Luty to say a few words and to introduce her student of the year for this pathway. Good evening everybody. Um, before I actually launch into this one I'm going to say a few general things and if you're wondering about my background it's real. <laughs> I have actually blown up balloons. Um, I'm really disappointed this year, a bit sad, that I can't give my final students of the year their awards in person. Um, it's, uh, it's been quite a, a difficult sort of end to the year, uh, being the end of my 25th and final year as a course leader. So uh, yeah, not, not the way to end really. Um, you were, both pathways were great this year, and I really, really missed all the classroom interaction all the epic side tracks, you know, we could end up miles from where we were supposed to be. And all the, just the general banter of the classroom, that, that sort of thing has, has been really sort of um, absent, hasn't it? Um, going on to the awards generally, um, I have huge respect and um, admiration for all AXA students. You know, I've been doing this for 25 years and I know what people give up. I know what their ambitions are. I know what they have to do alongside all their studies. Um, so I do hope you're all as proud as I am of what you've achieved. As ever, we've had all the problems in the world, uh, you know, apart from lockdown. Um, but the greatest achievement is not letting those be barriers to your success. And, you know, you've all succeeded. I've had quite a lot of emails describing how the course has changed people. And it is that where access tutors get this immense job satisfaction that makes it all worthwhile. This part of the year is where, you know, you know why you do it when you're an access tutor. Um, these awards are not necessarily about the most perfect work or the highest grades, but they represent students with something that makes them stand out in some way. Um, I don't make the selection alone, but I do discuss it with your other tutors. And there was a lot of agreement when we, we made the final choices. But excuse me leaning forward because I've got notes of all that. Oh, Leslie, I'm sorry, you've just muted yourself accidentally. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> changing, changing my notes over attached to the screen, I've done that. <laughs> right, coming on to the health group then. Um, this group is the more difficult of the two pathways to choose a winner from because your four tutors only see you once a week. And of course, you know, that wasn't for the whole year. Um, but we did reach agreement on the final decision. Um, it's really an award for successfully completing two years of study towards a particularly challenging ambition because last academic year this student achieved GCSEs in both English and maths before embarking on the, the challenge of the access course. From the outset she was absolutely determined to apply for midwifery. Despite my warnings about the competitiveness of that degree, it's always hard to get people in. Um, but she's one of two students on the course this year to be successful in getting a place on that degree. Um, and I'm delighted that her determination paid off and she'll be starting at the University of Suff Suffolk in February next year. Her conscientious, hardworking attitude on the course alongside employment, volunteering, family responsibilities, don't single this student out particularly. You know, it's the sort of thing that all access students have to cope with. But her tutors all agreed that the sheer scale of her effort and the determination deserve recognition. Um, she doesn't have the greatest self-confidence in terms of her academic ability, but she hasn't let that be a barrier to achieving her ambition. And she's been one of the most prolific classroom contributors in this year's group. I don't know if she's with us tonight because I know she's on a late shift. Um, but our Health Pathway Student of the Year is Michelle Roslin. Um, well done, Michelle. I don't think you could have given any more to this. So um, all the best for the future. Excellent. Well done, Michelle. And thank you, Leslie, for that. Now, Leslie, we're going to stay with you. 
Yeah. Your appointment's halfway. So please take it away. Okay. All right, going on to the science group, um, this is the easier of the two groups to select an award winner from because I've seen so much of you. Um, this student had studied at East Coast College before and had accepted a, and has accepted a place on the biomedicine degree at the University of Suffolk in Ipswich, along with several others. Um, he's conscientious and hardworking with employer employment and carer responsibilities, but again, this doesn't make him especially different from other students. But there are, there are three specific things that have made this student stand out this year. The first of those is that he's the only student on the whole course to have recorded 100% attendance for the year, and that is an achievement. But the second thing is that he's done this despite some very serious health issues, which I'm not going to detail. But one of these required an operation and he arranged the operation to coincide with half term break. So he didn't miss any college at all for it. And that's quite a serious operation. And then thirdly, as if the demands of the access course weren't enough, this student has volunteered as a student uh, ambassador. He's represented his fellow students are at uh, student council meetings, discussing, discussing issues with the college's senior leadership team, both on site and then via Zoom in more recent weeks. He's also been a regular at more open events than I have, uh, showing prospective students and their parents around Lowestoft campus. Our science student of the year is Ian Allen. <laughs> Congratulations, Ian. You really have done yourself proud. Thank you for being such a great Access student and we wish you the very best for the future. Excellent. Huge congratulations, Ian, and thank you very much, Leslie. So now we move on to our Access to Social Science and Social Care group. So I'd like to hand over to Chris Newman, course leader for this programme. Good evening. Can you hear me OK? You can. Hi. Right. Um I always find this difficult, and I, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to read out all your names, because your names need to be heard. This is not just a thing on the screen, because you've all been so outstanding and amazing. So Hayley, Chantelle, Sarah, John, Kate, Donna, Nissa, Kim, Melanie, Lucy, Tara, Raina, Kelly, and Kate. Every year, I think that access students can't get any better. They are and always have been because I teach majority of my teaching across, is our, across our degree programs. The access students have always been my guilty pleasure in terms of teaching. They are always outstanding, they were always dedicated, but this year particularly, you have been amazing and you have taught me as much as I hope we have taught you about resilience about keeping going with your course. I incredibly impressed after lockdown how much you engaged in the online learning and how you also realized that although you didn't have to do the work, you continue to do the assignments because you all realized and you all admitted that you just wanted to learn and that you wanted to complete this course for yourselves and not just for and just get predicted grades. And that aside has made you the best access course, if not the best course I've ever taught in my teaching career. It has been quite overwhelming at times. And therefore I find it incredibly difficult to choose a student of the year. And I really part of me resist not doing it because I think you should all get it for one reason or another. But the student I decided to choose, again, very much like Leslie said, is not the great achiever, not necessarily the great contributor, but in many ways the student was the calming, quiet voice, the rock around which so many other people found themselves, the person who was always caring and wishing to help as many students as possible, particularly when we had one particular learner with a range of particular uh, mental health issues, she was always supportive of this student. So therefore, for although I don't 
I think all of you, sh you sh should all have an award. My award for this year goes to Kate Ellis. <laughs> So well done, Kate, and um, I look forward to um, teaching you as well as some others on our BA Social Science this year, uh, because again, you've been impressive, as have you all, and I really wish the best of luck to every single one of you, and once I, I'm no longer teaching you, you, you can expect a little Facebook friend request so I can keep an eye on you and watch, see how you get on. Hopefully you'll accept it. So thank you very much for a fantastic year and for teaching me. Brilliant. Huge congratulations, Kate. And thank you so much, Chris, for your lovely words. So now we move on to our final Access Award this evening. This is the Access to Life Science programme. Um, this is a programme I have the pleasure of teaching myself on. So well done to all of my students. I'd like to hand over, however, to our course leader for this programme, Marissa Pilanos, to say a few words. Yeah, hello, good evening. It's a real shame that, um, that I cannot see you. I'm really, I would have loved to, to share this evening uh, with, with you. Uh, we, we were sharing it, but in a, in a very different way than we normally do. So I, I really hope that at some point we can actually meet up face to face and, mm -hmm. and maybe squeeze our hands if, if not, you know, if, if we cannot have each other. Um, I, I am going to say the, the very much what is already being said. Um, I'm terribly proud of you. Um, access, as, as Chris is saying, um, he, sorry, as Chris has said, is also um, my, my, my great uh, pleasure uh, when it comes to teaching. Um, you are all so committed, really you are so committed and so enthusiastic, you make it so easy um, almost all the time. Um, I, um, we, we need to decide uh, every year, we need to decide one student of the year. Um, and it's been very difficult, it's been very difficult this year because um, you, many of you deserve this, this, um, this award. Um, you all have been facing challenges that you never thought you would be uh, facing this year. Um, you knew you have um, signed for a, for a course, um, for an for a access course, and, and you were expecting lots of challenges, but this distant learning wasn't one of them. And you have actually, uh, you have all done very well and you have engaged um, with, with the learning um, um, quite well. So um, the student of the year has been uh, chosen. Uh, Kerry and I have, uh, and Hattie, uh, we've been discussing what, uh, who was going to be the student of the year. And it's actually a student that is, is a happy student. It's a happy person. She came to class to, to lesson to every single day, happy and willing to learn. And she was active. Oof, I already have to say she was active. <laughs> so, um, so I'm already giving away um, a little bit more there. Um, and she was a real pleasure and he, she keep us going. And I think sometimes us teachers also need that. We do need a, um, a student that is there to also keep us going. Um, this year has been, as, as you know, I also haven't been very well. And at times, uh, I also needed that, that support from students. And seeing a student that wanted to be there and wanted to learn was um, really invaluable for, for me. So the student of the year is Stevie. <laughs> Um, I also uh, would like to give a special men mention to a very special student, you all are, but uh, he has been also remarkable. And he, he came to me uh, two years ago uh, and the transformation uh, in those two years has been really, really incredible. He has followed the advice that I gave her the very first day he had to do his uh, GCSEs and some students get quite frustrated when they, we tell them that they have to postpone a year the access because they need to do their GCSEs. No, far from, from frustrating, he went and did it and came to, to access really, really strong. And he's been a rock for the group uh, as well. 
So thank you, thank you for being so, so lovely and such a good student. That is to Daryl Desmond. Excellent. So a huge um, well done to Stevie as our student of the year and um, well done to, to Daryl as well for that special mention. And thank you so much, Marissa, for your, for your lovely words too. So that brings us to the end of our um, official awards today. Uh, thank you so, so much for attending. I can see that there's a huge number of you um, actually with us this evening, although we can't see you. We hope you're able to enjoy your summer. Uh, we hope you're looking forward to your next steps, particularly to those of you that are going off to university. We ask, please keep in touch with us. Let us know what amazing things you go on to do. Uh, but most importantly, take care of yourselves. Um, make the most of your opportunities. And thank you so much for being such fantastic access students. So take care and goodbye. <laughs>